Hey everybody, Bobby Lynn here with your next chapter of The Power of One More by Ed Milet. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I'll try to make them a little shorter. This chapter is on one more emotion. As you know, our emotions dominate our lives. So if we are dominated by hate, sorrow, anger, depression, anxiety, chances are pretty high that we are not leading a very great life. However, show me someone dominated by joy, love, peace, and passion, and they're going to tell you that they live a great life. Your emotions are your emotional home, and it's up to you to fill it with the emotions that lead to the life you want to live. All your emotions have a purpose, both positive ones and negative ones. The negative ones are designed to help us see both sides of a situation. But too many negative emotions will increase the brain stress level and flood our bodies with cortisol. And that's the stuff that leads us to depression, to overeating, to substance abuse, and goodness gracious, a lot of health problems. So we're cluttering our house, right? We, if we look at our brain as our house and our body as our house, we're cluttering our house and then need to do some emotional decluttering, all right? We're gonna toss out those unwelcome house guests so that we can bring in and invite more positive ones to stay. So intentionally fill your home with positive emotions. If you have trouble with that, here's four ways to help you. Number one, meditate. Slow your brain down and focus on what you want. Your reticular activating system is gonna kick in and naturally attract you to it. It's naturally gonna point out those things that you want. Number two, find balance right? That ever-present challenge to find balance, right? The da balance between work and uh, life and relaxation. Find something you love to do that's going to flood your body with endorphins instead. You know, for me, it might be working out or hiking or, or um, bicycling, swimming. It used to be running, but I do some other forms of cardio, something that fills my life with that joy. It could be travel. It could be walking. It could be whatever fills your cup right and then number three identify your triggers this is very important find out what makes you angry and what frustrates you and then intentionally avoid that there's a great book called um a complaint free world i might recommend you check that one out that will help you avoid some of those things that are negative and if and if they show up some of those things might be showing up late for meeting it might be politics it might be the daily news it might be a negative person in your life that you kind of got to get rid of or at least limit them greatly right so so think about some of those negativity things and um, identify those triggers and then finally number four resolve to change the way you think make a conscious effort to avoid those negative emotions and move towards the positive ones. You are one more emotion away from controlling all of the emotions of your life. Make it a great day.